Following his studies at the Beijing Film Academy, Ai became one of the youngest members of the Xinxin group of painters in Beijing, which was shortly shut down by the government in 1979. Resulting in Ai losing faith in China and anxious about his future, he relocated in the United States in 1982. As New York was the capital of contemporary art, I felt sure with his decision relocating there in order for his creative impulses to freely flourish. During his time in New York, the city was able to offer him a lot. He got exposed to artists such as Marcel Duchamp, Joseph Beuys and Andy Warhol was manipulation of mass-produced images resulting in transforming eyes, artistic language and artistic practice from painting to installation art and surreal sculpture, which was composed by found object, very de Duchampien. As a radical artist, his apartment on the Lower East Side became a well-known meeting place, and with 10 moves in 10 years, very few works from these early American days have survived. Looking at the New York paper cut, one can see many Dadaist works, such as Violin from 1985, which is a connotation relating to surrealism, relating all time under the present conditions. The neck of the delicate crafted instrument is replaced with a handle of a snow shower. The assemblage renegotiates on its function and identity. The work is an homage to Duchamp's 1915 piece shovel in advance of a broken arm. Here, the three clothes hangers as a star from 1983, a reconstruction of Duchamp's profile using a simple metal hanger. Chateau Lafitte from 1986, combining a bottle of French fine wine with two Chinese slippers. One Man Shoe, 1987, made up of two shoes that made one. And of course, as the AIDS health crisis became known, I responded with safe sex from 1988, an army raincoat with a condom in the crotch, which was exhibited at the Brooklyn Museum in New York, as well as the Mori Art Museum in Tokyo. At that time, people had more fear than knowledge about it, remembers Ai Weiwei. In March 1988, under the title Old Shoes Safe Sex, I had his first solo show at Ethan Cohen's gallery in Soho. During his stay in New York, Ai Weiwei took almost 10,000 photographs, mostly in black and white, that captures the city energy, hopes and fears. The negatives were developed only 10 years later, when he already returned to China. Following the student demonstrations in the Tiananmen Massacre of 1989, Ai Weiwei faced a huge ethical problem. Should he stay in New York or return to China?